Welcome to the Vacation Tracker product demo. In this video, we'll be taking a quick tour of the platform and highlighting some of the features that our users love so much. But before we jump in, there are just two quick things I want to mention. One, Vacation Tracker works across multiple different platforms, but for today's video, we're going to be focusing on the web app to keep things short and simple. Two, the interface you'll see today is in English, but the platform supports many different languages and you could change yours at any time in the account settings. When you first log into Vacation Tracker, you'll be taken to the dashboard. What you see here is going to depend on what role you've been given, either user, approver, or admin. Users have the lowest level of permissions, allowing them to perform basic actions like requesting time off, receiving notifications about team leave, or viewing the company calendar. Approvers are the next level up. They can do everything users can, plus approve or reject employee leave requests, just as their name suggests. And finally, there are the admins, who have the highest level of permissions and can manage all the different settings in the account. Since admins have full control over the platform, we're going to continue the demo from their perspective. From the dashboard, there is a heat map that provides a quick at a glance view of your team's availability. If you scroll further down, you'll see any pending requests from users you are an approver for with the option to approve, deny, or edit the request. You can also see all the upcoming leave within your company simply by switching tabs. Right underneath the dashboard option in the left-hand menu, we have the calendar. From here, you can see a more traditional view of vacations, holidays, and any other type of leave you choose to track. You also have the option to sync this calendar with your own and filter the data for real-time updates that are relevant to you. Another helpful view that you have at your disposal is the wall chart. It displays all users or even a selected group giving you a day-by-day -day outlook of who's working and who's not. Perfect for planning your projects. To get the most out of these views, you'll need to make sure that your leave types, locations, and departments are set up. So let's walk through how to do that, starting with the first one on the list, leave types. Leave types are the options employees can choose from when requesting time off, and they can be fully customized to match your company's leave policies. When creating a leave type, you can decide if approval is needed, set the quota, choose the shortest leave duration, and more. There are also some additional settings we can choose to activate once it is applied to a location, but we'll go over those later in the video. Once created, leave types can be turned on or off, edited, or deleted at any time. Next up, we have locations. With locations, you can organize teams by where they work, whether they're in different countries, cities, or specific offices that have unique policies. When you assign a leave type to a location, it then becomes a leave policy where you can choose to enable those additional settings I mentioned before, including accruals, brought forward, or time off in year for each one. Using accruals, Leave is accrued over time at regular intervals instead of being given all at once, and you decide the pace, ranging from monthly all the way down to weekly. With brought forward, any unused leave will be carried over into the next year based on your set rules like adding a cap or an expiration date. And lastly, by activating time off in a year, you can offer time off as compensation for overtime instead of paying for extra hours. Besides assigning leave policies, it is also here in locations where you can configure your work week settings and set your public holidays. For these holidays, they can be automatically imported based on your country or manually added if need be. Last on our list for setup is going to be departments. Departments and by extension sub departments are where you can divide your users into groups. This is also where you set up the approval process between managers and employees including whether or not multiple approvals are needed. One key thing to remember here is that while approvers can be in multiple departments, each user can only belong to one. Speaking of approving, it would be hard to approve leave without users submitting requests, so you're going to want to add them as soon as you're ready. In the menu, clicking on the users section gives you an overview of everyone in your account including inactive or even deleted members. Each user has access to their own profile where they can check their leave balance and history 
at any time. As an admin, you have access to the full list of users, while approvers can only see users in their own departments and regular users can only view their own profile. You can add new users or even sync existing ones whenever needed. From here, if you select a user, you'll be taken to their profile where you'll find key details like their start date, department, their role, their working days and hours, and of course, their allotted leave quotas. Each leave type has its own tab and you can choose to view this information for the current period, the past, or even the future. You can also set the working days for a user if they happen to follow a very specific schedule or work part-time. That's not all. At the top of this page, you'll find two extra tabs, one that contains all the leave history that they have and another that logs all the on this profile page. You can also customize labels to tag and organize users by projects, seniority, or anything else that fits your needs. You can then use these labels to sort information on any page where filtering is available. Each user also has access to their own account settings where they can connect their personal calendar to automatically block time off and send out out of office messages. They can also change their preferred language here and turn dark mode on or off in these settings as well. Going back to filtering, one place where it really comes into play is the team notifications section. As you'd expect, notifications keep you in the loop on who's out and who's about to be by sending updates straight to your preferred channel, whether that's Teams, Slack, or even just plain old email. You have full control over your notifications, so create as many as you need to and customize each one by selecting who receives them, when they go out, and how frequently they are sent. If it ever feels like too much, you can always edit your notifications or even turn them off temporarily. Another section where filters come in handy is with reports. In this area, you can generate and export a variety of reports depending on the information you're looking for. Each report type has a separate card where you can see a brief explanation of what it covers. And for each report, you can apply filters to refine the data. Once you're ready, you can also choose to download the report either as an Excel file or a CSV. Instead of manually downloading the reports, you can also choose to have reports scheduled to be sent automatically, just like notifications with the options to filter and adjust the timing depending on your needs. Finally, now that we've covered the basics of getting set up and how everything works, let's wrap up with what is arguably the most important part for your employees, requesting and approving time off. Employees can request time off using the dashboard or directly in one of our apps. They just need to pick the leave type select the dates they'll be away, and add a reason if needed. As they make the request, there won't be any uncertainty as they can quickly see if anyone else from the department is off and how it will affect the remaining leave balance. Managers responsible for approving requests will get notified the moment it is submitted. And just like requesting time off, if they're on Slack or Teams, they'll see it there too. From this point on, they just need to decide whether they will approve deny, or edit the request. But regardless of the outcome, employees will be notified as soon as the decision is made and the button is clicked. And now it's your turn to start managing time off with confidence. Get started with Vacation Tracker at no cost using our free plan. Or if you have questions, you can always book a demo with one of our sales team. If you're curious about how our integrations work with Slack, Microsoft Teams, or other platforms, then check out our follow-up videos. You can either find them on this page directly or in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. Thanks again for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.